one. What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to another episode of Nuzlocke Training, where today we're going to be practicing some combos and such with Sabito. And of course, as always, the combos and everything that I'm going to be utilizing in this video are based on videos made by Mr. Alberonin, and I will link his channel and videos down in the description and most likely the top comment as well, the pinned comment. So make sure you go check out his videos because we're not going to go over everything he says in those videos. He's going to go more in depth if you go watch his videos. I'm just going to take some of the basic stuff that he teaches in those videos and run with it. So let's get right into the training. Okay, so before we actually do any combos with Sabito that was in the video, one thing I wanted to point out is, so I, I was kind of practicing on my own off camera, and I realized, so you remember that combo that we did with Nezuko? It's actually pretty effective to use those same techniques on other characters. So look, I can literally do the Nezuko combo with Sabito, see, do this, and then I can even sprint, well, I was too close. But if I do it, let's, let's start from here. I think I can do it from here. So we do, you know, the full string. Then we go down, do this, and then we sprint and stop. You can also go into the grab and all that. So j literally, Nezuko's combo is actually good for, like, pretty much any character. And, like, I don't even need to do the little dive kick there. So let's say I did this into this, and then continue the combo, and then stop, and then sprint stop. So, yeah, so like it's actually pretty effective to use that on other characters outside of just Nezuko. Mostly just the sprint and stopping part. And the reason you want to do that, if you haven't seen the Nezuko video, I'll kind of go through it again. So basically, you want to do a full attack string, which what that means, you see that sixth hit right there where he does the heavier swing. So that is basically the end of like the first combo. And then you can do another move, which I guess with Sabito, you could... Well, with Nezuko, what he showed in the video was you jump and dive like this. I think it's a little bit slow for Sabito to do that, though, actually. Like, looking at it, it feels a lot slower than Nezuko. I think you could just barely hit your opponent while they're still staggered. But I think it's best to just do this, the six hits, into a waterfall. Uh, so, which is just triangle or Y if you're on Xbox. Um, so, yeah, you just do that into a waterfall. And then you do another full attack string like this. And after that hit right there, so the very last hit, which is the 18th hit, which would just be, again, this heavy hit again. So let me show you. So after that, you want to push circle or B if you're on Xbox, and then uh, immediately block like that. And then you can stop yourself from actually hitting the opponent. And so the reason that's useful, again, I'm just really re-explaining all this for people who haven't seen the Nezuko video, which I highly recommend you watch because it goes more into detail about how it all works. But... Um, Basically, yeah, it's just really good for doing like a reset or you can even grab after it. So like, let me show you, you can do this and then just keep the combo going again. Or I could do like this and then just do a grab like that. So it's actually pretty effective to use this on any character, not just Nezuko. I was just kind of messing around offline with Tanjiro and that's, I learned that. So I just wanted to put that here at the beginning just to show that like some some of the stuff that like i'm realizing that some of the stuff i'm learning with certain characters might actually be effective on other characters not just the ones that uh you know mr alberonin was showing for that specific character you can actually kind of mix and match stuff which is really good so anyways let's go ahead and get into the sabito combos so the very first combo he shows with sabito is you basically just do this the full attack string as he says so again after this heavy hit that's considered one full attack string after that sixth hit so you uh again and to do combos obviously is square on playstation or x on xbox so you just keep doing that then you go into a waterfall into another full attack string into a whirlpool which a whirlpool you just hit uh, R1 and tri um, triangle if you're on PlayStation, and RB and Y if you're on Xbox. So, um, it's pretty simple though, and I honestly, thinking about it, it's pretty similar to the combo he taught us for Tanjiro. So I feel like if I just do Tanjiro's combo, it actually is pretty effective. It's not as effective though, yeah. Actually doing that isn't as effective because you don't really get back meter with uh, Sabito. Because with Tanjiro's, his waterfall ends in a heavy knockdown. Oh, I did not mean to do that. His waterfall ends in a heavy knockdown. As you can see, Sabito's kind of knocks you away. I guess the first one ends in a heavy knockdown, but if you do it in the combo like that, the second one just kind of knocks you away. But yeah, so the basic combo, again, I'll show it off. You do that, that into a, a whirlpool. So then next, okay, and actually, what he says in the video right after showing the combo is there is a way to do that combo and build meter back. So basically, you just make it a little shorter. So you're essentially just going to do that second waterfall sooner. 
and just end your combo off with that, and then it does a heavy knockdown, just like Tanjiro's. And you can actually build back at least one bar of meter, so... Basically, the way I like to do it is it's six hits to do a full combo string. So you just want to do the waterfall on the fifth hit uh, for the second part. Three, four, five. So right before you do the heavy. And then, yeah, so I'm probably going to use that more often than the other one just because it actually ends uh, with a heavy and you can get meter back, which is really good. So, yeah. Okay, so one thing I do, another thing I want to show off that he mentions in the video is so... When you do Sabito's dive attack, which is this, you know, you jump in the air, press down and square. If you notice, it actually starts a yellow combo, which is really good. And just look at the hitbox on this. Like, you see all that range I get in front of me when I slide. Like, look at how far away it was from, from uh, Zenitsu when it actually hits him. Look. It, it, he actually has some pretty good range on this. Like, look at that. Like, you can hit that from far away and it starts a yellow combo. Because for most characters, that would start a red combo. Um, which, you know... It means you get less combo time. So basically, I could just go into this and then just do my normal combo off of that, which is kind of ridiculous, especially because like dive kicks as con like a uh, or dive attacks I sh as I should say, um, it's a really good like mix up option because sometimes people don't expect you to just be up in the air and then come down. And Sabi Toes, like I said, has a lot of range and everything. So like yeah, this is a really good tool to use with Sabi Toe, and it's actually pretty unique. Uh, to him because again like I said most other characters at least the ones we've been showing off so far this would start a red combo so yeah that is something to definitely keep in mind uh, another thing he pointed out too is that Sabito's charge heavy attack is actually the fastest one to charge up in the game so as you can see like with uh, so let me switch over to like Makomo to, for comparison so when I charge hers up you see it takes uh, I, I don't really let me let me see if I can count it's like one two three so it's like three seconds to chargers up while sabito is like one two it's two seconds so it, it's like a lot faster it might even be like a one and a half seconds i'm just kind of counting by, with my mouth you know just to kind of give you guys an idea of it uh, i don't if someone wants to like actually time it then go ahead but um but it's pretty obvious how much faster sabito's is though like let's be honest it's pretty clear uh how how much faster sabito can charge his up which is really good because that means you could break guard with sabito super fast like you don't really need a combo or anything. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, uh, you could do a combo to, like, pressure. But honestly, all you need is this to break guard because it's so fast. Uh, like, it'll it'll give people a harder time to react to. It's like, now that I'm seeing this, I kind of understand why some people main Sabito. Because he's actually got a lot of usability. Especially, like, this is just insane. The, the heavy thing. And then the dive kick leading into a square com or a yellow combo. And having that much meter, it's crazy. Um... Or I meant that much range, that much meter. And having this this ridiculous amount of range is insane. Like, look at this. Well, that's how I hit him directly, but even just, like, right in front of him, it just hits. And then you can just go. Just go off. And that first hit, if you're far enough away, doesn't even count towards your combo. So that's just extra damage you're doing. Oh, my yeah, Salvito's kind of crazy. Hold <laughs> on. But, uh, anyways, let's continue on. All right, so that's basically everything that I'm going to be using from the video that he showed. He does show off some more stuff, like um, there's this one combo he does that actually uses Sabito's Heavy in the middle of it, which was really cool. But uh, again, I'm going to leave that for his video, so you guys go check out uh, his combo video, which again, I'm going to link it down in the description and the, t and the pinned comments. Uh, make sure you guys go check that out, though, because he does some cool stuff. And then he also uh, uses Boost and Surge mode, which again is these modes. So this is Burt boost and then this is surge he shows off some combos you can do in those modes but for these videos i'm not really too worried about that because i just want to learn like some basic stuff so we're gonna go ahead and get into some online matches here in a bit um again i, I didn't really show off uh this move too much he does mention that you can use it pretty well in the air like j just just real quick to mention so if you use these in the air and you're doing like this air combo you can actually use that and that ends in a heavy knockdown so that that's this move mostly just good for use in the air but yeah i'm just gonna practice a little bit more maybe come up with some stuff on my own and then we're gonna go ahead and hit up some online matches so i will see you guys once we're doing that all right so we found a room here with a tanjiro and a rengoku i believe that's hinokami tanjiro actually so why did i stop blocking that was so dumb why why did i stop blocking all right let's get him so let's uh let's go after him again. Oh, I was gonna use my heavy right there. I'm gonna do it. Well, if he gets in, he comes close. Heavy. Oh, he did his too. Oh, no, I couldn't move in time. That was smart. He did his too. Oh, I can't even be mad, bro. There's no way I just got hit by. Them. 
Am I dead off of That's insane. <laughs> I really just I could have just blocked, but I got hit by his third waterfall there. Um that was all my fault. <laughs> that was my fault, I'm not gonna lie. Um Well again, that's just the first round though. We we still have some time. Don't worry. I'm I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play a little bit safer here. Get him, there we go. He's gonna save himself, but we're gonna get him again. Move. Oh my god, I avoided that. That was cool. Woo! Let's go! We stopped him. Alright, do this. I'm gonna try that little Nezuko reset strat right now. Wait, did I mess it up? I think I did it. Oh, we just stopped him again. I'm gonna try it again then. Since I have the chance, why not? Why did I sprint? I didn't mean to sprint there. Maybe it's actually not as effective. I, I think I'm just doing it wrong with Savito. Oh my gosh, look at that. He just keeps falling into me. Oh, I heavy threw it. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to drop it. Oh, that looked cool. <laughs> the, 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 my, the way my waterfall, like, clashed with his, um, with his, um, his whirlpool. <laughs> I forgot the date for a second. Uh, okay, let's just heavy him. Oh, clean. Not even mad about it. Let's go, Makomo! Oh, I love Makomo's assist so much. She just turns into Sonic. Like, she literally just does a spin dash. Uh, it's so good. I, I remember in a video I did. I forgot which video. But I did a video and she literally, again, like just like what happened right now, she got me a win with her spin dash move. Ooh, let's go. Okay, let's go. So I'm going to see if... Yeah, so, okay. I actually might be wrong about the whole Nezuko thing. Unless I'm just doing it wrong, but it seems a lot slower when I try to do it with Sabito. Why do I keep sprinting there? I should not be sprinting there. Okay, let's get this. Let's try to end with a... Oh, I don't have enough meter. No, yeah, I do. Barely. Makomo, let's go! Oh, I guess Makomo's assist depend like changes depending on how far you are. This man just keeps <laughs> whirlpooling. Heavy. <laughs> Woo! Oh! That was so clean! Oh my gosh, GG! That was clean! Sabito's heavy is so good. Oh my gosh. The way I just broke his guard, it just shattered into pieces. That was amazing. So I'm going to try out... The oh, he's going to Rengoku now. He's bringing out the big buff. Woo! Oh, I stopped him. Okay. I thought I, thought I, I didn't think I was going to be able to stop him. Move. Oh, block. Oh, I got him. All right. I'm going to try the Nezuko thing one last time. Because I think I might just be doing it wrong. Doing it. No, it's just slower with Sabito. Yeah. So Nezuko's thing is not as reliable as I thought. Because Sabito's sprint comes out a lot slower than Nezuko's does when you do that. So uh, let's try to get him in the air. Let's try to use a, a little bit. We're going to maybe try to end with an ult here in a second, too. Let's get him up here. And then do this to end with a heavy. Oh, he <laughs> <laughs> He quit. Well, I'm going to go ahead and count that as our win because we were right there. We were really about to win, but he just he just quit. He rage quit. Oh, my gosh. Or he knew he was about to lose. Okay, Savito is actually cracked. <laughs> oh, my God. I understand, because I've seen a lot of people talk about how they main Sabito. I never really got why, because I didn't know how to play him. But now I'm seeing a little bit of what he could do, and it's ridiculous. But yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and end the video off there, like I said, though. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed If you did, make sure you slap that like button and that subscribe button. And if you really are liking this series that much, uh, make sure you put this video down into your favorites playlist. And... If you, uh, if you were going to take on the Demon Slayer Nuzlocke challenge, uh, which was the previous series I did before this Nuzlocke training one, make sure you use the hashtag Demon Slayer Nuzlocke tag on whatever video or clip or whatever that you make. Just make sure you use that in the title or description because I want to see them. So yeah, until next time though, I'll see you all later and peace. Have a good day or night, y'all.